Um, hi everyone, it's Joe from Joe's Collector's Corner. Welcome back to another video. I'm a part-time online reseller, I guess you can say, eBay, Vinter, Depop, Facebook Marketplace, anywhere where I can uh, make a sale, really. Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's another another week has gone by, so we'll be running through everything that we bought and also what sold this week. So, uh, we didn't do the car boot today. Uh, we got too much on. It's a birthday, so it's a day off. Instead, on Friday, I went to a couple of charity shops. Uh, I didn't pick up much. This this week's sourcing, we've spent a grand total of £16 on three items. Uh, I'll run through what we've bought uh, now, and then later on back at home, we can go through all the sales. Um, spoiler alert, it's been another good week, pushing nearly £250. So March has probably been the best month I've had so far. Um, in fact, including a personal sale this week, which was over 300 we're we're pushing well over you know a grand's worth of uh, gross sales which is just insane you know for a for a couple of hours well you know some some evening hours in a week it's it's pretty mad um yeah let's go through what we've sourced uh, as you can tell we're not at home uh, we're in a lovely aldi car park so i've been doing the weekly shop there's an ironing board behind me as well because i was broke so <laughs> you know we've got all sorts of things in the car um yeah, we bought three items, £16. Um, some good ones, though. So I think we're looking to return potentially 75 pushing 80 But I'm happy to take offers on them from £16. That's that's pretty mad. It, all clothing. Uh, trying to get to get further into clothing, try and find some nice items. I've not really dropped on a, a major winner yet, apart from the shoes. Um, so, yeah, we bought a Ralph Lauren polo shirt but it's a it's a golf pro fit one uh xl good size uh it's light pink with a little blue logo i'm not sure how well pink sells but um i've seen some go for around 20 pounds it's a blue label uh it's a nice piece there's no no holes no marks it, it looks pretty good it's not faded or anything um yeah that was out of the 16 pounds so if we just say everything was a fiver potentially 15 to 20 pounds on that plus postage uh, we then bought a Nike uh, camo kind of extended length, like long tee. Um, it's not old, it just looks cool, and it's a, it's a blue label, so it's not single stitch or anything. But I thought it might go well on Depop, uh, looking at around 15 to 20 on that as well, hopefully 20. Um, I've seen some other Nike blue label things go for that price. It's kind of the, the swoosh with the full spell out on the front and a grey and white camo. Pretty cool. Uh, I'll pop up some pictures of the uh, the listings here. And then finally, um, after talking to uh, Kieran from Rummage Around on Instagram, big shout out to him. He's a great at selling clothing and trainers and he's super helpful. He was really nice. I didn't think he'd actually respond. I assumed he'd be really busy. But um, uh, I sent some photos across of what I bought and he kind of confirmed what I was thinking. Um, so yeah, let's go uh, into that. We bought... Oh, somebody got their... Uh do something with their engine i don't know uh yeah we bought some diesel larky jeans the first pair of diesels decent diesels i found i found some others but they don't have any kind of model on them so i don't know what they are it could be fake but i've no idea i think they're just standard diesel we bought some diesel larkies um jeans but they're a um, dirty new age dna variant so it's kind of stamped on the inside um and they're also selvage so it's my first pair of selvage jeans and if we average the price at being around a fiver they might have been six i think that's pretty crazy um selvage jeans are kind of all over at least on diesel on ebay they're all over the place so some people are selling them for 15 pounds and some people are getting 65 70 for them i've seen a pair of these go for 55 um plus postage but ours are in excellent condition apart from some fraying on the very bottom of the um the jeans because they're, they're an extended length as well they're, i think they're like 36 34 so they've obviously hit the ground a couple of times while being worn and they've um they've kind of worn down a bit on the edge which is such a shame because apart from that the mints and the selvage so i'm going to push for 40 at the top end and accept offers because i know standard larkies go for around 25 30 and i think they're rising in price at the minute so we'll, we'll push for 40 on them pictures up here i'm trying some new stuff with the clothing uh, just throwing them in Photoshop and doing some editing. I do it at work all the time in terms of Photoshop. So it's, it doesn't take that long now. I've got a good kind of workflow for it. So, um, yeah, 
hopefully it brings in some more interest with the colored backgrounds i might change them up i might keep them all the same so it's kind of uniform and i'll it, it's better than depop where you can't do the remove background like ebay uh, quickly so you end up you know putting my carpet on the background which doesn't look very good so hopefully um some will go on depop it'd be nice to get some depop sales as well as ebay um just to kind of build that store i think i've only had about five sales on there and i think they've all been shoes as well and football boots so it'd be nice to get some clothing sold but you never know so guys um yeah let's um let's knit back home and uh, go through everything that's sold right so we're back at home it's been a great week on ebay um kind of fourth good week in a row or third good week in a row uh, we did a total sales on ebay of 244 pounds and 98 pence i've got it up here <laughs> we also had a personal sale i sold a graphics card because i upgraded uh, this year so that went for 337 pounds all in not had any negative feedback so i'm assuming it um, arrived there safely it's tracked and down as delivered so uh it's been a few days hopefully they're, they're happy with that so that that would actually bring this week's sales up to 581 pounds and 98 pence but we'll kind of deduct that because it's it's not an item i've bought to make money on so let's go through everything that sold this week um first things first we sold a coat it's a super dry motorcycle jacket um, they go for a ton of money but unfortunately this one was a um, a small so it's it's the lowest price you could get for one so that ended up going on offer for 20 pounds all in we then sold ratchet and clank for the playstation 4 for eight pounds free postage we sold a pair of heelys the ones that we bought the other week they went for 10 pounds all in um, again, they were a small, I think they were size 4, so again, they're kind of on the on the low end of Heelys. Um, took an offer on a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mug, brand new, for £6, all in. Uh, that one, I think I bought from a Kabu months and months ago, but it basically owes me nothing. Uh, we then sold the graphics card, 325 plus postage. Um, Sims 3 for the Nintendo Wii. Um, I bought a couple of Wii games the other week. I think I went through that little stack that I got the other week. That went for 6 95 all in. So that's paid for all them games already. It's crazy when it does that, it's mad. So the rest are just pure profit now. Uh, we sold a Funko Pop on offer, £4 plus postage. Um, one of the kind of last few that I've got out of the huge bundle that I've made hundreds from. Uh, we sold Needle Moss um, Harry Potter figure. Eight ninety nine plus postage. That's one of the lower end ones. I think I got thirty of them, and I'm looking at about I've got maybe ten left now. So they've actually gone really well. Um, we then sold Red Dead Redemption for the Xbox three sixty five pound forty nine free postage. I think that one was the Paw Patrol Air Patrol from last week. That went on offer for thirteen ninety nine all in. Uh, I think they're happy with that. It's been delivered quite a few days actually and we've not heard anything back so we'll, we'll go with them um, they're happy with that the micro machines the second micro machines truck sold as well on offer that went for 25 pounds and 80 pence all in uh, with cars again they, they can go up 10 pounds more than they were but unfortunately that one was just on its own with, with no accessories uh, we sold the adidas copa football boots for 18.95 plus postage these were the ones which were ruined at the front but they're worth so much money in great condition that I've, I've still managed to squeeze 20 pounds out of them and there was no holes in them they just started peeling on the front and the color kind of gone so you can play in them i'm sure they will be um it was just a shame that they were in such bad condition we also sold men the men's um puma one football boots the white ones they went for 14.99 all in which is actually more than I think the sold comps were. I think they were 11 99 maybe even free postage. And I just kind of tried to push it because they were super clean. And uh, I got what I wanted, so that was really good. Uh, GSP sale, we sold the Funko Pop 4-pack, the Star Wars Mandalorian set. They were, That was part of the um, three that I bought from Tesco. I got them £20 each. I made the most money on the first one through Facebook, and then these ones have kind of only gone for five to ten pounds profit on these this one went for 28 pound 45 plus postage and that's gone via the gsp i think it's going to germany that one uh we then sold another funko pop it was a dota 2 one that i bought last september october time that went for five pound 50 plus postage and then we sold 
two Eagle Moss Harry Potter figures, the same buyer, but they bought them separately, uh, both on offer. Uh, Draco Malfoy and a Ron Weasley. One went for £12 plus postage and one went for £11 plus postage. So that's really good. I'm really happy with that, actually. Um, I, I was happy to take an offer on both because when you're bundling them together, it was more than you know one of them would have cost anyway. So I was happy with that. Finally, which is a really nice sale that I'm very happy with, was Alice uh, Madness Returns for the Xbox 360. I managed to get £22.95 free postage with that. And at the minute, that can go anywhere from between £10 to £25. So I, I'm happy that I got the top end for that. That was everything that sold on eBay this week. Um, there was no Depop, no Vinted, no Facebook. There's been a little bit of interest on Depop and uh, Vinted, but nobody's actually bought anything. So yeah, that is uh, actually really quick. I actually ran, rattled through them. But that's um, that's all the sales this week. Um, like I said earlier, no car boot. So um, I got them, them little bits of clothing. And then I um been messaging about a Wii U, but I've not heard anything back all day, so that might might happen. It might have gone to somebody else. But yeah, um, another great week. Uh, not much to list this weekend. So next week, I've, I'm suspecting it's going to be quite quiet. If we could sell a console and maybe the um, the diesel jeans, then that would you know put us to nearly hundred pound, and I'd be really happy with that. But um. I did actually get an offer for the PlayStation for forty eight, but it's free postage, and that just just seems too cheap they seem to be going console only for 55 so you know 48 for for that bundle just doesn't seem like enough so i declined that i said i think i sent them a count of maybe 55 or something but um we'll see if that goes if not it's not the end of the world thank you all for watching this one it might have been a bit quicker actually i'll um i'll see you all in the next video have a great week